What is up ladies and gentlemen, we're back here for yet another awesome video. Today's video is going to be a little, a little tackle tip video. I haven't done one of these in quite, or one of these style videos in quite some time. Um, I used to do these like every like two to three weeks, or tried to do them at least. Um, and then I kind of got away from them and uh, just kind of ran out of tackle tip ideas. Uh, but now I remembered this one. This, is, this tackle tip is going to be kind of going over how to downsize your terminal tackle box into a couple small little tackle boxes that you guys can throw I mean you could literally throw it in your pocket if you're bank fishing so it's a great idea for if you're bank fishing if you're bank fishing on a lake like right here I'm actually standing on the bank of one of my local lakes um, just wanted a different scenery for a video for you guys um, but it allows you to if you don't want to be breaking your back every time you go bank fishing you know, you you can use this tip and really downsize. I mean, my entire t terminal tackle box is right here in my hand, right here. This is all of it. Um, so I'm going to be kind of going over as it as it drops on the ground. Um, I'm going to be kind of going over those for you guys today. But before we get into that, if you guys haven't checked out Fly South Apparel, go check them out right here. This company. Um, yeah, they're, they're awesome. I got an order in from them last week, I believe. Um, it came with this hat as well as a couple others and some shirts that are super super cool, super comfortable as well. And if you guys need any hats for the summer, you know, keep the, keep the sun out of your eyes and everything, go pick one up. This has actually become, I wore this all last week and has been become one of my favorite hats that they make um, it's just it's very simple it's very clean looking it's also very comfortable so which is something you really want in a hat so um, other than that go check them out um, and uh, yeah let's get on to these tackle tip boxes and uh, that's about all I have for you today alrighty guys so I'm sorry if you guys feel like you're looking up at me um, you actually kind of are but you're sitting on a rock right here in this lake it kind of like goes down like this and so there's not too many spots and I don't want to be like a dark shadow so I still need like some natural light coming into me and facing me so I'm lit decently you know um, but other than that we're gonna get into the video these are the two boxes right here these are small little boxes they're made by Flambeau they're like three or four bucks and so you've got eight dollars total right here and this is your entire terminal tackle box okay this is all you need there are some exceptions um, I don't have any treble hooks in here so if you're a guy who uh, changes out your treble hooks a whole lot I don't have any of those in here I don't have any snaps in here uh, bobbers um, I am missing a couple things that you could have in a big if you had a big terminal tackle box but for me this is what I use I don't use a whole lot of bobbers I don't use a whole lot of snaps and swivels and stuff those are kind of like specialty items for me I use a whole bunch of uh, if you guys can tell on this box right here it says heavy I don't know if you guys can make that out right there it says heavy and so this box is for my uh, Texas rig stuff okay so I've got bobber stops in here. I've got two packs of them. Um, I've got bullet weights, and uh, and also I'll show you guys the the box themselves individually and how I kind of lay them out here in a second. And then on this one, I've got finesse right there. I might have not even spelled it right. I'm not really sure. I was kind of just writing it down because um, I've had this box for a while. But um, these are my two boxes. I've got my heavy stuff right here, which I've actually got some swim bait hooks in here. Uh, just a couple of them right here and then my uh, my Texas rig hooks I really only use like one to two sizes of Texas rig hooks I try to get like a standard VMC 3 aught hook will work on tons of different Texas rig baits so that's what I try to get with those and then the finesse I've got some shaky heads right here some Ned rigs um, and then drop shot weights and drop shot hooks right there and that's that's all I need really um, so that's kind of them um, I'm gonna uh, play over some clips right here of, of the boxes themselves but uh, right here you've got a uh, your uh, your spots for a hook right here let's see if we can do this without stuff spilling you got your spots right here for a hook um, you've got spots for a weights you've got two spots for weights I use 
uh, small weights in one and big weights in the other one and uh, I keep a, uh, a pair of bobber stop or a pack a little thing of bobber stops in each uh, little container thing and then we've got another little hook area right here uh, for other hooks uh, so if you want two if you want two different size hooks you want a, some big hooks for like big 10 inch worms and you want some smaller hooks for like three inch baits or not three inch baits uh, like little crawls that would be perfectly fine and then on the finesse box all you really need for finesse stuff all I need I don't like I don't use I don't do too much finesse fishing so I keep my box very simple but you guys can go and do whatever you want with your box so I've got Ned rigs in one I've got drop shot hooks in in another one and that's in one of the small compartments because you don't need too much for drop shot hooks it's just like one little corner uh, and then in the opposite corner you've got a little drop shot weights which is perfect and then uh, across the second big section you've got uh, shaky heads uh, you can put more Ned rigs in there you can I've got some more little uh, 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 Nico rig hooks in there so there there is a ton of different uh, options for these boxes you guys don't even have to use these for finesse and heavy baits uh, you could use them even for swivels you could use them for uh, there are more dividers it comes they come with more dividers I threw those away because I knew exactly what I wanted to do with these boxes but if you could even use it for treble hooks and have different sizes treble hooks on here uh, you could have the ones with feathers in there um, these boxes are great it's all almost about these boxes um, I know it can be kind of ridiculous how I'm making like a seven minute video uh, over some cool little boxes but these flambo boxes I'm not being paid paid by flambo to say this but these are super helpful uh, I took my a standard big like 3600 3700 size Plano box and turned it down to these two boxes now don't get me wrong I still do have uh, like an all-purpose box it's actually like a really big one uh, that I use and you can throw a little bags of swivels in there and snaps and that's where I also have some bobbers in there as well other terminal tackle stuff that you don't put in here but this is great for your day-to-day -day stuff if you're a pond fisherman you don't need too much you need your Texas rig stuff and then if you're gonna throw some drop shots or wacky rigs and that is pretty much all you need right there guys flambo boxes I don't know what these boxes are called but um, it, it also helps to label them so I have heavy right there I might even need to write heavy down there on down on here again it's kind of getting worn off and then finesse so um, other than that I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I know it's a lot different than some of my normal and past videos but um, I hope you guys enjoyed it um, I'm, I've got to kind of hurry up and get out of here before it looks like there's a storm coming and it is thundering so um, other than that thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys on the next episode of LMB Nation peace guys